This is a proof of concept video for PS4 remote play on a laptop. So I am home at the moment. I want to note uh, that's my router, modem, PS4, TV, Ultrabook. Uh, this works over the LAN or WAN. Right now, currently, I am on the WAN. I'm tethering over my Android device, so I'm not connected to my home network. Um, so you can see that this is working here. Uh, the Bluetooth setup, the, the controller is a little bit funky because if the light's not on, meaning, you know, if it's not tethered, it won't work. So initially I had to disconnect the Bluetooth controller from the PS4 so that when I hit the home button, it didn't sync back up. So I had to disconnect it with uh, some software on my laptop and then I had to connect it and then, you know, you, you use the uh, the cable to uh, to tether, and then it works. So it's a bit laggy. Let me see. Let me open up the game really quick. You can see when the game pops up on the screen. See that? Moving, you know, similar. But in my defense, I'm tethering over my Android phone, and I'm not using a wired connection. Um, you know, this is mainly going to be used for uh, on my lunch breaks at work in the office. So I'm going to be using a wired connection. Um, should be less of an issue so but that's the poc so i'm going to cover you know the technical aspect of this whole build and project um so first was the router is the router that's a wrt 1200 ac with open wrt flashed over it um something interesting right open wrt disables the wireless interfaces by default so you have to go in through a wired connection and enable them i have an ultrabook the Ultrabooks don't come with Ethernet ports, and I'm running i3 over Gentoo, uh, Gentoo Linux. So the thing with that is Gentoo Linux doesn't enable things out of box that aren't necessary or that aren't needed, you know? So I have no Ethernet port, so obviously things that are related to Ethernet aren't going to be enabled. So you have to compile that in the kernel yourself. Gentoo's wiki makes that a breeze, thankfully. Um... And the community, you know, if you're mildly retarded and can't follow instructions, the community is always welcoming, unlike the Arch Linux community. But what I'm pointing at right here is a fast Ethernet adapter. That is a, a Gigi to USB 3 Ethernet adapter. And all I had to do was enable fast Ethernet support uh, in my kernel. But, you know, that gave me a few problems. I ended up, you know, having to pull the, the latest stable kernel from kernels.org, uh, configuring that, you know, and... Uh, what I had to update my system as well. I had to update world and there was a few other tricky things that I had to do, but you know, I got it eventually. So after that, I was able to enable the wireless interfaces on the, the router there. Um, so that setting that up was actually a bit, a bit tricky. Uh, I had to create bridge, like a bridge interface and then bridge two different types of interfaces and a bunch of other stuff. But the fun part, uh, the fun part is with Chalky. So Chalky is this Linux uh, remote play app for, you know, PlayStation. Um, Sony has one, but they don't have support for Linux. They're, you know, they aimed their, uh, their app at, uh, you know, Windows and, and Mac. And there's support for, there's an app for iOS and Android. But, you know, I'm using a Linux distribution here. So Chalky, I don't want to say that's what I'm stuck with, you know, because it's a great app, but that's, I guess, what I'm limited to. So this is Chalky here. This is the streaming interface. So if we go here, um, let's go to the middle. So that's where you launch it. You have to manually configure, you know, the, um, the device. Um, so the chalky repo is here. I had to compile that from source, but he provides binaries. I just feel more comfortable doing that and I can comb through the source code or whatever. But initially when I fired this up, it wouldn't connect. I'd get a black screen or it was an automatic rejection of the session. Um, I fired up uh, Wireshark and saw that the uh, remote destination, the destination was replying back with ICMP packets, um, telling me that the port was unreachable. So, you know, I would open up another port. Uh, the first one I opened up, I think, was 9295 for TCP and UDP. Um, I had to do that through IP tables. So that's what's awesome about OpenWRT. It's like a full-blown Linux distribution. You can manipulate the, uh, the network with IP tables. So um, I manually created some port address translation rules um, in the NAT table through pre-routing, the pre-routing chain, 
and uh, through the input table um, in the forward chain. And, you know, I, I was able to successfully NAT the whole connection, the whole streaming session. Um, I needed poor, I did one and then, you know, I tried to reconnect and after opening up 9295, um, it got past the automatic rejection. It would wait a few seconds and then cancel out the session. And then from there, it, you know, it would pop up, you know, other ports, 9296, 9297. I had to open up for TCP and UDP. I did that for a while until eventually I was able to connect. Um, unfortunately, the Chalky app doesn't um, specify which ports you need to forward and people don't know how to forward the ports. So maybe I'll create a tutorial for that. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I have the IP tables available if you'd like them. Um, they're listed on my GitHub in a gist, I think. But, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed.